Hey guys, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today I'm going to go ahead and change the thermal pads and thermal paste on my RX 480. It's not getting really great hash rates around 22. I have an identical card and it gets about 28, 29. So um, I'm going to try and do the pads and the paste and start there. So let's uh, let's hop over and we will start taking this apart. All right, so I have it here now. Um, in the spirit of time, I went ahead and uh, undid a bunch of the screws, uh, took the uh, top plate off here, and went ahead and cleaned that off real well. So that looks uh, pretty good. Just going to move that over to here for now. It was definitely dirty in there. And then this piece here went ahead and uh, initially took off the back plate. Now the back plate, I don't like this and it had several screws all holding it down. It had four screws holding the uh, GPU uh, from the, uh, the plate to the other piece. So I went ahead and took those off and it's just the cover for it. So now we have it. We can go ahead and flip this over and we have it right there. Then I went ahead and I'm going to take this plate off because I have some uh, pads underneath here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one off. There's two screws right over here that hold that uh, plate down. So I went ahead and popped them and they'll come right off. And you can see there are pads on here. There are a couple down here. So we will start on this side and work our way around.
All right, so I've got the pads all <clears throat> uncovered, took the plastic off all of them, put them back on, got the thermal paste. So now I'm going to start assembling and putting this all back together again. Right. and now we are going to hook the fans underneath both fans are here and here so we're going to plug those both back into their connectors Alright, so everything looks good. I got the screws down. I'm going to go ahead and put this plate back on. All right, everything looks like it is screwed down and it is good to go. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put this thing back in the in the rig. See what happens. All right, y'all. Well, I'm back up and I am just checking it out. It doesn't look like we were successful today. Now that I've got the uh, recording software going, it is dropped down. But I will say, when it first came up, it was going at 24.59. I was at 22 and a half, so it is up to mega hash. Uh, I guess what level of success you call success. I don't know if I would call this a successful video. I am up to mega hash, so it's, it's two more than I had. Unfortunately, it's not jumped back up to 28. Uh, this one runs around 28 and a half. Again, I'm recording, so it has dropped down a little bit. Uh, there is one question that I do want to ask, and it is right here. Does anybody know about this? Since I bought this card, it has always jumped. Now, I will say that it has stopped jumping as much since I've done what we just did today. Now, before it was fluctuating around 30 megahertz up and down, it would go just, just like a roller coaster, up, down, up, down, and it was it was all over the place. Now, it looks like we're bouncing around at about 5 megahertz. So it's not as bad as it used to be, but nonetheless, it is still bouncing around. I do have the identical card right here, and it stays solid. It does not move at all. Um, this one, though, it is, uh, it's always had a problem. Now, it's always been like this since the day I bought the card. This other card, uh, the card that we're looking at right now, did run at 28, 28 and a half megahertz, uh, mega hash when I first got it, ran smooth, ran that way for a long time, even though this was still bouncing. I eventually, I put this in the other rig and I just let it run. Um, since I've wanted to do this project, I took it out of there and brought it in here. Now I've had a chance to actually do this project and it was not successful. Look, I got two extra mega hash out of the deal. So I guess somewhere you could say that's successful, but unfortunately it's not successful in my book. Look, you know, I started my my, uh, my channel with the intention of showing you the good, the bad, and everything in between. And unfortunately, this one just didn't work out. I was really, really hoping that it would. And, um, and today, we didn't get the result we hoped for. So, look, that's how it is. But if you want to see another great vid, I got one that I did on overclocking the other rig. That's the 580, the 570, and the 280s. <laughs> the 2480s. The 2480s. And that one's pretty good. That one, if you want to check that out, it's going to be right up there. If you want to help support the channel, hit that button right over there. I appreciate if you gave me any thumbs up for my effort today. Of course, that always helps the channel. Damn. Not today, y'all. I'm sorry. Wish we had a great video. But, um, but like I said, uh, I show you everything that happens here. And not just, uh, not just success stories, right? Because this is life. So... Thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking in. I'll see y'all next time.